his way. Now, we haven't made a lot of videos here lately. That's been partially my fault. Oh, bang. Uh, we've been cutting a little bit of timber. As you can see, some walnut and burrow here. Decent little pile. Bark's really starting to slip on them that time of the year, though. I started to make some videos last week. And I just... I couldn't get put together what I thought was enough footage or film to make anything so I just kind of left it at that we've we've been cutting some logs been packing a lot of logs it's been muddy we keep getting rain rained a little bit last night I was over here late last night till about 8 30 and between now and then it's come a little rain and not much but uh, this was fairly dry and it's kind of got it moistened up again so today we're going to be cutting mainly just some pallet stuff uh pecan ash maple hickory water oak things like that i think there's a few straggler bur oak in there dad and kenny are already in there cutting i kind of got john fueled up and going on the 548 i'm going to take the little 440 in there but i'm taking my saw with me i was gonna do a video i i bought a couple weeks ago one of these steel light bars just to try out and i also uh I'm, I'm doing something that's probably a cardinal sin here. I, I bought some of this Husqvarna X-Cut chain and trying it out. Yeah, I'm running Husqvarna chain on a steel saw. And it's not Oregon chain, it's actual Husqvarna chain. A friend of mine said uh, I should try it out, so I bought a few of them just to give them a whirl. Of course, it's a square chain, which cutting in these river bottoms, I do like square chain. This stuff seems to be holding up, staying sharp so far, so good, you know. Cuts fast. Of course, this is a 50-gauge chain. Usually run a 63-gauge, so this is a little thinner chain. But so far, I've, I've got no complaints with it. This will be my second day of cutting with it, so we'll see how it does. Uh, we'll be better get in here before uh, they get all the good stuff. Tall timber. 
that one might have been down in the I think it was I don't think it's cut off I think it blown over and they're trying to get it up out of the mud where they can cut it off salvage it I believe what's going on there said we're going to get this some of this stuff ain't notice this here you'd expect this to have kind of a snow white heart but this is kind of a brown heart to it this timber is not real good quality it's just old should have been cut years ago a lot of it kind of like what you see there blown over stuff from the wind highly saturated ground just uh, old growth timber needs to be cut I've been trying to outdrag John all morning by footage. And this whole thing here, I just couldn't quite get out with it. I couldn't get it high enough off the ground. My big choker, my 10 footer, wouldn't hardly go around it. So it was just like pulling a plow. That's a big piece of maple right there. We'll let John take it out. And I've got another piece here. I tried to bite off one I could chew a bit ago. I tried taking the, uh, we, we cut this in two. I took the first piece out, which I think I took some video of. Then I was trying to drag this uh, double crotch out of the top of it with me and just couldn't quite get it. If we hurry, maybe we can catch up to John.
gear up here is quite a bit different than the travel speed. through. Pretty good morning. I figure there's probably 10,000 feet here. Maybe a little more. Probably close to 10. Big logs add up fast in the footage. A couple of walnut in there, mostly ash and maple. A couple bur oak. Good river bottom timber. Good river bottom timber. Now tomorrow we'll come back and try to get out another 10,000 or so feet. We'll bring the skid steers we come, we'll lay these out. We'll probably have a sale Friday. So we're calling for more rain tomorrow night and rain again this weekend. So we're just trying to work what days we can right now. It's been pretty spotty, unfortunately, especially for this time of the year. So... I can't promise a whole lot on the videos, how soon they'll be out, but we'll, uh, we'll make what we can. See you later, guys. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.